If you're like me, when you think about data privacy, you think about big companies like IBM and Facebook. But more and more, it's becoming important for small and medium-sized businesses to be very concerned and very aware of data privacy and all the new rules that are coming into play. I invited my friend Lily here, and we're going to talk more about data privacy coming up next. My name is Lily Lee, and I'm a data privacy attorney and a certified information privacy professional for the United States and Europe. So what do we need to know about data privacy and the way things are changing for us as business owners? Well, this is definitely a new area of law that's kind of exploding across the international stage. Um, just last year, we had the General Data Protection Regulation called GDPR. In addition, more locally, we have the California Consumer Privacy Act. This went through the legislature just last year, and it goes into effect on January 1st, 2020. How does this affect a small business? Well, the um, California Consumer Privacy Act doesn't just affect large businesses. Um, it affects any business that um, does business with California consumers and collects the information of 50,000 or more consumers, consumer devices, or household information. So as you can imagine, even if you are a small company selling a lot of widgets, you might end up selling um, to 50,000 or more customers in a year and collecting a lot of information that way. If you fall under the California Consumer Privacy Act, then there are certain things you need to have. Um, one of them is a privacy policy that tells everyone how you're collecting data and all the categories of data you're collecting. Um, in addition, starting now or starting yesterday preferably, you will have started to keep track of all the different records you have so that on January 1st, 2020, if one of your consumers goes to you and says, give me a copy of all my information or tell me who you share all of my information with, um, you'll have that information ready to hand out to them. So I own a video production company and we do video marketing and we run ads for our clients online. We have a whole system we've created to help them succeed and sell more. How does this affect my clients and my relationship with my clients? Well, one of the interesting things about uh, the California Consumer Privacy Act is that consumers have the ability to opt out of selling information to third parties. And so most of the time people think, oh, I don't sell information to third parties. I only use customer data for my own business purposes. Well, in a sense, that's true. But in another sense, you're using people like Jason. You might even have um, visitor access technology and you're relying on a third party company that will maintain visitor logs for you. Um, well, in that situation, your sharing of information with that third party might be considered a sale unless you have a contract with them in place so that this third party is protecting your customer data and is only using it for purposes that you have told your customers that they're going to use it for. And so in the law, we have these carve outs where businesses can share data for business purposes. But given all that's happened recently in the news, the law also tells businesses, hey, you can't sell data unless the consumer lets you do that. So it's important that whatever agencies you're working with, like our social media agency, you need to make sure that you've got an agreement in place with them so that they can use the data for your purposes, but they can't repurpose it for their own or to sell it to another client. That's right. Um, and there may be situations which are a bit of a gray area. Um, it's a common business practice for you to get together with an affiliated business or um, a business in a tangential um, product line or product area and to do a joint marketing campaign. Again, you have to be very careful that you're disclosing these uses to your customers so they're not suddenly getting mail from a place that they don't know anything about and that your contracts with these other businesses explain in depth how you're going to treat data so that you protect its confidentiality and you protect its security. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for breaking this down for us and helping make it something we can understand. Where can people find you online? Oh, sure. Um, you can find me online at www.metaverselaw.com. Thank you for watching this week's video. I invite you to subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.